You remember overseas, I was in command of a company. Yeah, sure. Well, I lost them. How many? Just about all. Oh, gee. But it takes a little time to toss that off. Because they weren't just men. For instance, one time it had been raining several days. And this kid came to me and gave me his last pair of dry socks. Just put them in my pocket. That's only a little thing, but that's the kind of guys I had. They didn't die. They killed themselves for each other. And I mean that exactly, a little more selfish, and they'd be here today. And I got an idea watching them go down. Everything was being destroyed, you see. But uh, it seemed to me that one new thing was made. A kind of responsibility, man for man. You understand me? Mm. To show that, to bring that onto the earth again, like some kind of a monument. And everyone would feel it standing there behind him and it would make a difference to him. And then I came home and it was incredible. <laughs> there was no meaning in it here. The whole thing to them was a kind of a bus accident. I went to work with dad and that whole rat race again. I felt what you said, ashamed somehow because uh, nobody was changed at all. Seemed to make suckers out of a lot of guys. I felt wrong to be alive, to open the bank book, to dr drive the new car, to see the new refrigerator. I mean, you can take those things out of a war, but when you drive that car, you've got to know that it came out of the love a man can have for a man. And you've got to be a little better because of that. Otherwise, what you have is really loot. And there's blood on it. And I didn't want to take any of it. And I guess that included you.